All right, so I have quite a lot of quests completed on this game mode, 108 quest points, and some of the quests are a little bit glitched, like Legacy of Sirgeis, there was an NPC that I had to talk to, but he was for some reason aggressive. Like, he has no attack option, but he's attacking me, even though I have to talk to him. You know, somehow they managed to fuck up the quest, and Legends quest is literally uncompletable. Now, I am at the point where we need to collect three crystals and combine them uh, into a heart in this furnace. So I'm gonna open my quest dialog, it says I've placed some crystal chunks, actually I did place two of them, but I still need one. The way you obtain them is by killing three different guys in this room. So the first one is Irvig, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to kill him now. When I try to attack him, it says you already bested me in the battle. What's the point of killing me again? That's what he says. And yes, so he's right, because I already killed him and I got the crystal from Irvig. Okay, I'm gonna kill the second guy, San. He also has the text that says, you already bested me in the battle, there is no point in killing me again. So here we go, killed him, no crystal, because I already obtained it and I put it in, in the furnace. So there is only, only one more guy left, which is Ranalf Devir. Now he does not have the text, did you notice that? He didn't say that I already beaten him. So the game thinks that I did not beat him. Okay, I'm gonna beat him now. But I didn't get the crystal. I killed him like 20 times now. You don't get the crystal. Now let me go to the furnace. If I search the furnace, it will say that it looks like it needs one more piece. But I literally killed all of them on video and I did not get a piece. It's glitched. I have so many quest items now, now I have to go back? Like, this is gonna take ages. This clue scroll is taking way too long to complete. It took me 12 minutes to get it and then it's like step five now. I, I don't understand why is it so long. It's easy clue scroll, usually it's two, three times and then you go. So cheer for monks, equip all that and cheer it. And I got a Zamic page. That's my very first clue scroll completed. Look at the chat. You have completed one easy clue scroll. It got the Zami page. Wait, I just realized that this is RuneScape 3. We don't actually use those books. Like, they're not that good. So, I'm gonna try to sell it for 50k, though I think no one's gonna buy it because it's 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 a book. No one needs it. Yeah, no, no one's buying it. So, 20,000. If no one's gonna buy it, I'm gonna leave it. Let's see. Nope. I guess I'm gonna be camping this place until I get 60 attack. You know, I may get some obby weapons as well. And if not, I think I can buy one by using Tockle, because you need 75,000, and this is how many one kill gave to me. And what's nice about prayer is that, well, every time you die, it recharges. So this place is super good if you have protection from melee or protection from magic, depending which one you're attacking. Really good, like you can kill twice as many if not more just because you have this prayer i have like no health so i'm gonna just kill myself and i forgot where i died so it's gonna take some time to go back to the place i think that was near the furnace somewhere around here from the mage yeah that's why this place is so good you know you die it's it, it doesn't matter you just go back and pick up your stuff you, oh, you just need to remember where you died after this kill I'm gonna get 60 attack and that means I can equip dragon daggers and this anti two handed is so slow and inaccurate. Like one time it took me like two minutes to kill this one. You see it just hit zero zero. I know that the weakness is water but still you know and oh my god finally and this is for the very first time I can use a special attack and I have no idea where it is. Should be oh there we go that that's kind of inconvenient I'll have to uh, put it somewhere, but as you can see, I did not get 75,000 tackle for an obby weapon. So I guess I could camp in this place for a little bit more until I get that. Oh shit! This is like you need 75,000 for a weapon, and that was supposed to be the last skill, and I should have gotten 75,000, but I got instead an obby cape. That is some nice luck, but I think I'm risking my added to hand there. Okay, so I decided to train some Slayer because I need 67 for Branches of Darkmere. I, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but this is a big cash pile and a lobster as well on the ground. Wow, that, that's pretty good. 
What I don't like is that it's supposedly it's not multi-zone, but two of them are attacking me most of the time, and it gets annoying. My food really goes down. I only killed maybe five now, and I'm already quite low health. So I got assigned 86 lesser demons, and I'm wondering how much experience I'm gonna get. I'm gonna set a timer to see how long it's gonna take me to to complete this task. Because instead of doing this task, I could be going to kill four Chaos Elementals to get 20,000 Slayer experience. So I want to see which one is better. Okay, I just noticed something. When you kill a lesser demon, it will give you 666 experience. Ooh. Doing Chaos Elemental actually is amazing. This is my last kill now and it should be at half health. I should just spec it to death. Hopefully he's not going to be able to kill me. But it took me only 14 minutes and I'm about to get uh, 20,000 Slayer experience. Look at that drop now. And 22.7k Slayer experience and I got some Chaos Rune so let's pick that up. 250 not that much I think I'm gonna just suicide I don't need that also when you die at chaos elemental look at what's gonna happen I died and I spawned in mage arena so I can just go back without food spec again uh, usually I take like 80% of health you know it really depends on, on what uh, you can change the settings if you forgot by clicking escape button game settings death spawn settings and mage arena bank so whenever you die at these skulls you're gonna spawn in your selected area and that's another, I, I didn't see how much I was, wow, I didn't even notice how I got that XP, but that's like 22,000 more from 44 to 47 Slayer. Yeah, these stats are just really good. And now I'm not sure if I should die or I should bank these. Right now I'm gonna go and finish requirements for branches of Dark Mirror quest. I think I have only four requirements left and maybe I'm gonna complete it tomorrow. That means tomorrow I may have access to level 70 weapons and finally the whole questing and the whole skilling thing is gonna be over. I wanna try some PvP already, you know. Uh, though a lot of people are just risking nothing, you know, added two-hander, maybe Obimol and rarely anything else. You kill them, you don't get nothing. That's why some people were asking for some PvP action. But right now, everyone is just starting. They are not risking too much. You know, you have to wait a little bit. So I don't think I'm gonna get anything good, but uh, once I get the weapon, we can test it out, you know. Maybe even some bossing, just a, a little bit. We're gonna see. Uh, anyway, tomorrow it may not happen. It may happen in two days only. Whenever I get it, I'm gonna make a video. Thank you for watching. Bye.